In this course, I will use a lot of fitness terms that you need to be familiar with. One of the most fundamental abbreviations in dieting and nutrition science is the TDE, which we talked about before, but I want to explain it in more detail now. TDE stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. In layman's terms, your TDE is the number of calories that your body burns in one day. If you were to consume roughly the same amount of calories as your TDE, you would be in a neutral calorie balance. If you consume more calories than your TDE, you would be in a positive calorie balance, and if you consume fewer calories than your TDE, you would be in a negative calorie balance. The simplest method of calculating your TDE is by using an online calculator, such as the one I linked in the resource section. It will ask for your age, weight, height, and weekly exercise. While the results will not be 100% accurate, it will give you a good idea of how many calories you need to consume in order to roughly maintain your current weight. Now, as a beginner, this would be all you needed to know to get started. But because this is an advanced nutrition course, I want to explain the many details of calculating your TDE. As you can probably imagine, the formulas that the online calculators use didn't fall from the sky. Instead, they're the result of scientific studies that try to estimate calorie expenditure as accurately as possible based on the input factors I just mentioned. So age, weight, height, and weekly exercise. So far, there are three established formulas that nutritionists will use for their calculations. The Harris-Benedict formula, the mifflin saint drawer formula, and the catch mccardle formula. All of them work similarly in that they first calculate your basal metabolic rate, or BMR, and then add a certain number of calories on top, depending on how often you exercise. The basal metabolic rate is the number of calories needed while resting when the digestive system is inactive. It's like figuring out how much gas a car consumes while parked. In such a state, energy will be used only to maintain vital organs, which include the heart, lungs, kidneys, nervous system, intestines, liver, lungs, muscles, and skin. For most people, around 70% of total calories burned every day are due to basal metabolic rate. Physical activity makes up another 20% of calories, and 10% are used for the digestion of food. This is also known as thermogenesis. Because the BMR makes up so much of our daily energy expenditure, all the TDE formulas start by calculating BMR first, and then they multiply this value with a factor between 1.2 to 1.9, depending on your activity level. The Harris-Benedict formula was one of the earliest equations for this, having been invented in 1919. It was revised in 1984 to be more accurate and was used up until 1990 when the mifflin saint drawer formula was introduced. The third formula, the catch mcardle equation, is slightly different in that it takes a lean body mass into account, something that the others don't. That means if you know your body fat percentage, it will be the most accurate. But if you don't, you cannot use it. Because most people don't know their exact body fat percentage, I usually recommend the mifflin saint drawer formula, which has been shown to be more accurate than the Harris-Benedict formula. Now, just in case you wanted to use the formulas yourself, I created a PDF with all three equations that you can find in the resource section. But because there are countless online calculators that do the work for you, you really don't have to do the calculations yourself. One last super simple way to roughly estimate your calorie needs is a rule of thumb developed by the University of Maryland. It's not as accurate as the three equations, but much simpler for quick estimates. For a moderately active man, multiply your weight in pounds by 14 or 15, and for an inactive man, multiply your weight in pounds by 13 to get your TDE. For a moderately active woman, multiply your weight in pounds by 11 or 12, and for an inactive woman, multiply it by 10. So, for example, if you are a man, train regularly at the gym, and weigh 180 pounds, you would simply multiply 180 by 14, and then 180 by 15, to get a range of 2520 to 2700 calories, to get a good first estimate of your TDE.